Tutorial number nine. Okay, um, in this tutorial, I'm gonna try, 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 and teach you how to use the trigger underscore wind, because I've never used this before. So um, I'm gonna have a quick go at using it, and hopefully, if you watch me figure out how to do it, then you can use it in your maps as well. So here we go. I'm just gonna create a basic little area. Me to shift, drag, control L on both of those. Shift and drag, control M, control M. Why do you hate me? Control M. It's just because. Here's control M. Okay, so that's just going to be awkward, that's fine. Okay, it's actually a basic little room there, and then your little ceiling or whatever. Okay, now I just need to texture it. I'm going to have dev. Dev textures, because I like these. And then the one for the floor as well. And then for the skybox, you want tools. Sky. There, okay, so this is my little <coughs> thing I'm going to be using. Um, yeah. Don't know whether trigger underscore win. No, it isn't. Right. Pull out your brush tool. Listen carefully because this I've never done this before, so it's a learning experience for me as well. I'm trigger underscore wind. So I'm going to make that a trigger wind. Okay, so press Control and T. Tie it to a trigger underscore wind. Okay. Now let's just make it like. I want the wind to blow that way. That's the pitch you'll roll, I think. Start disabled, yes. Name. Wind underscore zero one. Speed one is on five. Speed. Baseline for how hard the wind blows. I'll have five hundred. Fuck it. A thousand. So my friend there, just helping him out. Um and that can be it for that. Any flags? Clients. I want to turn that off. Physics objects. Physics debris. Um, okay, so you have those applied. Now I'll include the VMF for this as well when I'm done, if I get it working, just so you can see how it's done. Uh, and then I'm going to have. I'm just going to build a little platform over here. Just have this here. I don't want this. Okay, so that's the trigger push, or oh, sorry, trigger underscore wind, and then this is going to be my other trigger. So um, this is going to be a trigger underscore once. So you press Control T, tie it to a trigger underscore once. Uh don't think you should need to do anything there. Okay, so in the outputs on <coughs> do add and do on trigger win zero one win zero one enable. And I think that is it actually. <coughs> I'm just gonna 
where players start. So that means when you walk into that, that is going to enable that. Okay. So now we just want some uh, physics objects to chuck about in there. So a uh, prop underscore physics. Uh, of the world model, I need a table. That one's the lightest one, so I have that. Okay, and then I'll duplicate that just so I can get to the properties and just make some pop cans. And I'll just duplicate a few of those on the tables just to test if it works. Okay, so your info underscore player start. <coughs> You'll trigger underscore wind with the appropriate settings and your trigger underscore once which triggers that to be enabled. This thing here to be enabled, which will then in turn make those like that. Okay, oh, one second before I test the map. A light. It's always good to put a light in. Makes it look nice. I'll have the light in. Doesn't really matter what direction, so I'll check over there. Brightness. It's about 100. Right, that is fine. Now I'm just going to compile this map. So run map, save it as whatever you want. And if you followed my little snippet of information on my previous little tutorial, um, it tells you to change your map output directory to the Garage Mod Maps folder if you're mapping for Garage Mod. Makes it a hell of a lot easier. Okay, so trigger underscore wind, I'll save that as. Okay. Right, I'll test this in game, I'll see you in a second. Okay, so <coughs> I've come into Half Life 2 to test this because my garage mod kind of died a little bit. So, um, um, so I can get the basics. Okay, so from the tutorial, you step on this and the wind blows over, hopefully. Yes, sort of. Now if I bring one of these over here and drop it. Well it works. Um you obviously just gonna have to tweak the values and stuff a little bit. But other than that, it actually works. So that's actually not too bad. That's actually what I want to do. And that was the first time I've done that as well. And uh, so that's a bit of a learning experience. Oh, that's loud. Yeah, so that's a bit of a learning experience for me as well. But, um, whoa. Okay, it also works on a grenade. So if you want to make a, like a puzzle, where you have to throw a grenade down into a ventilation shaft uh, to blow a room up or something, then you can do it like that. That's quite smart. That's good. Right, uh, this was tutorial number 9, and I will see you in tutorial number 10, which uh, I need uh, ideas for. Um, so I'll take a request over on Face Punch if you uh, have any ideas. And um, this is uh, Sphinxer279, and I am Asparagus. Thanks for watching my other tutorial. Goodbye.